everyone, this is Jeff Grant with SBRForum.com taking a look at the 2013 NBA playoffs, specifically Game 2 of the Eastern Conference semifinals featuring the Indiana Pacers and New York Knicks from Madison Square Garden. Knicks are currently anywhere between 5.5 and, and 6 point home favorites, while the total has really fallen off from 185 to 183. Monitor any future odds movement by going to SBRodds.com. The Pacers, of course, picked up a 102-95 victory in Game 1 as 5-point road underdogs on Sunday, a pick you received right here at sbrvideo.com, while that game climbed over the betting total of 181.5. Really, the game was won in the paint. The Pacers finished with a 44-30 advantage in rebounding, which ultimately led to a 46-32 advantage in points in the paint. 6-5 straight up, 8-3 against the spread as road underdogs of 3.5 to 6 points while the under is 6-5 and five in that situation for the Pacers. But when looking back at their playoff losses, and I think the Knicks are going to pull off a victory here, the last nine playoff losses for the Pacers, 0-9 against the spread, failing to cover those games by an average of 8.8 .8 points. When you look at New York, it really starts and ends with the shooting woes of Carmelo Anthony. Of course, he led the NBA in scoring during the regular season. He's made just 35 of his last 110 shot attempts, and right now, New York is currently the worst offensive team in the NBA playoffs, averaging just 88.7 points per game, which is really a big departure from the way it ended the regular season, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. So you need to get things figured out, and it starts and ends with Carmelo Anthony. 19-9 against the spread as home favorites of 3.5 to 6 points the last two-plus seasons, with the over going 17-11 in that situation. I think Game 1 was more of a letdown for New York than anything else. They went down early, they climbed ahead of Indiana, but Indiana was too strong and presented some matchup problems that I think head coach Mike Woodson is going to change the lineup a little bit. He's going to go with the smaller lineup again, but he may have to tinker with it towards the second and third quarter. While Indiana really carried over its momentum from its victory, first victory in 13 tries in Atlanta, it broke a 13 game losing streak at Phillips Arena. But now they're going to face a very uh, hungry team that can't afford to go down 0-2 in the series. And I think the losses that Indiana's had this year on the road, they've really failed to cover any spread. Uh, and getting six points is very attractive right now to the betting public. But I'm going to lay the number here with the New York Knicks at Bovada. New York minus 5.5 against Indiana on Tuesday night. This has been another edition of the 2013 NBA Playoff Preview here at sbrform.com.